Okay, so now we got something interesting going on. The enemies in this area will be non stop. And I am really, I really mean non stop. Can I hit this guy? Right now we just have to wait for something to happen to this gate. So. Yeah, if you stand in front of Sheva's line of fire, she'll shoot at you. She won't, you won't take any damage, but... So this is why Sheva is good with the Magnum, because she has actual good aim. It's so funny when you shoot people in midair and they just jump down anyway and just die. It's pretty funny. And now I'm just waiting for a voice dialogue. Nice, Sheva. If someone's covering my ass. The part is, you never have to reload when you have infinite ammo, so you don't have to like... Did you hear that, uh, we're gonna Help back up to this, to over here now. Just hope he gets here quick. Because now there's gonna be more enemies coming from everywhere. Uh, and then we got that guy. So we might want to get out of the way. Do that. That's gonna kill the big guy. And now we can get into this area. Which gives us a lot more room to actually move around. I like running all the way over here. Shooting this. Interesting thing I've discovered. If you go in here and then push this. I'm pretty sure they can come in. Besides through there. Now I can just stand here and shoot anything that comes through the window. So yeah, this is a pretty safe spot if you wanna camp out because all we have to do here, we pretty much just have to survive until stuff happens. This gives us a pretty good choking point. I find it interesting how she actually avoids your um, your aim. When you shoot with a rocket launcher, she doesn't. You can actually die from doing that, shooting her accidentally with a rocket launcher if you're standing right next to it. It's really annoying. So, 
uh, it's gonna be interesting, exciting to get this uh, platinum now. Uh, the only ever uh, Resident Evil game I've actually platinumed and played before this one was Resident Evil 2 Remake. So I'm looking forward to getting this done too. I have no idea how long this part actually lasts, by the way. Which, because this part is kind of... I don't know. It's kind of like... Oh, actually, I can't say that because you guys haven't seen that yet. That's just, when you get that voice line, that's just means you're a bit closer. I'm Yanni today, holy hell. Uh, and speaking of games, I'm excited for the new Amnesia game comes out this month. I am looking forward to that. Shotguns. Well, I didn't have enough points for all of them, so that, that kind of makes sense. Ah, the guy's finally here. An A rank still gives us 2000 points, so I'm guessing S rank gives you 2500. That's pretty good actually. Somehow I still got 77 enemies killed. Um, Salah, say Sheva's Magnum. I mean, the damage is pretty good. I kind of want to get the so she can shoot her enemies. Re reload speed and capacity literally don't matter, so I'm just gonna do this. Yep. On to the next level. Alright, sadly, all the treasures in this area despawn, which is kind of annoying. So if you don't run around and collect them during the fight, then you won't be able to get them. Mm. Yeah, second level. There's a treasure down here if you wanna get it. It's like 800 gold, or... I can't remember what the currency is called. It's like an African currency. This part, nothing too bad in this part. Can't throw a shell up there, but that won't really do you much. Hello. I like running this way. And turning around. Uh, there's gonna be people here. I shot that girl by accident. That was pretty funny. Uh, 
Anyone else? Trusheva up on, here. Okay. Come on, Roger. She'll actually go get a key. Which you can use to open the door later. In this level. The old building key. Yeah, so there's nothing too bad in this level. You can go in here and get some stuff. There's a treasure up here I want to show off where, where it is. Fresh chest right here. An antique clock. Oh, someone dropped gold here. So this is where the key goes. There's no reason for me to really go in here. There's a shotgun in here, but I already have it, so... It's literally where you get the first shotgun in the game, which... It's not bad. It's not bad to... Yeah, believe me. Especially when coming up to this next part. Hey, what's wrong? Be careful! They may still be here. Are you okay? Right, so this girl is a bit interesting. She has that coming out of her head. She died pretty quickly, but but that's because of the magnums. But if you on your first time through here, that's gonna throw you for a loop. Cause that's the first time you actually run into that. Critical headshot, that's pretty funny. So as long as you get most stages like as long as you get through the end to the end of it, you're fine. Just rush through to the checkpoint. That doesn't sound pleasant. And I'm not going for like to take my time with this game, I'm just I played this game like three or four times in a row, so I I am trying to rush it a little bit. Is that a guy? All right, that guy. Yeah, he kind of walks over there and like slumps over dead. There's treasure over here. Try to show off. I'm gonna try to show off the ones I know about. Though some of them requires you to kill certain things, which. Yeah. What the hell happened in here? Hey. Did this? Something attacked us. Irving, he got away. It was a setup. A setup? What is 
this. I said it regarding the deal. I downloaded it from their computer. Oh, you gotta get it to HQ. Oh. Hey. Hey, hang in there. someone, but they ran away. Kirk, do you copy? We got the data, but Alpha Team is down. Moving got away. Roger. Relay the data from the vehicle at the storage facility. Copy that. I don't like the looks of this, but we have to keep moving. So, let's move on. Like how the login screen tells you like stuff from other part Resident Evil stuff, but they're they're over so fast on the PS4. It's like you don't really get time to read it. Uh, this part, right? Not excited for this part. You'll see why in a minute. I mean, if you know, you know, but... Yeah... This part is kinda rough. That's what got out, Matisse. Yeah, that is bad. That is really, really bad. Also, this is the first... Uh, first boss of the game. As soon as he gets in here, the door is gonna close. And now the fight begins. We can... There's a couple of ways to kill this guy. I'm gonna try to kill him without doing the obvious using the furnace. It's possible. Oh, he's dead already. Yeah, it doesn't stand much chance against Magnum bullets. Now you can also use the furnace to instant kill him, but if you do that, you miss out on this. So that's kind of why I wanted to do that, or I would just. I mean, if I didn't kill him, Shavo would have. I would have to take away Shavo's weapon for him not to die. Alright, 